to SV's Academy yet again. So here we are back with yet another episode on group discussion and this time we are going to take a look at the 10 skills of a candidate which are assessed by the recruiter during a group discussion. So that means whenever you are appearing for a group discussion, make sure that you work on these 10 skills of yours very very consciously so that whenever you are appearing for a GD, you are better prepared to face and these skills shall be showcased better before the recruiters so that they may know that yes, you are the right candidate they are looking for and because you have the right skills that are best fit for the job they are, they are planning to give. Okay, so let's take a look at the 10 skills. Skill number one, leadership skills. Now, whenever you're appearing for, uh, for a GD, you are clubbed in a leaderless group. There is no leader, right? So the way you start the discussion, the way you handle the discussion, the way you manage the discussion, if it is straying from the topic, gives cues enough to the recruiter that yes, this particular candidate has potential leadership qualities. That means if they are looking for a manager, if you have the leadership skills, then you are best fit for the role of the manager and you get the job on a silver platter before you, right? We come to the second category of skills which are extremely important for you to showcase and on which the recruiters place a great deal of importance. That is communication skills. Now, communication skills means that you will be assessed on the basis of clarity of thought expression and language. Out of this, of course, it is imperative that you need to have a reasonable uh, hold on fluency of language and accuracy as well. At the same time, what is assessed is your listening skills. That is, how well do you listen? How well do you probe? When we will be doing listening skills, we are going to touch upon what is called active listening. So that is listening for comprehension, whether you are getting the ideas right, whether after listening properly, you are able to generate your, your own ideas based on whatever you have listened. Right? Next we come to the third point, third very very important quality that is interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills means people skills. You are expected to be more people centric. You are expected to display emotional maturity as in suppose a point is raised in the discussion which is ideologically opposite to what you think. But if the other person is coming up with a proper valid logic to support his idea, you need to be acceptable towards it. You need to accept it in a proper unbiased manner. That is called interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills or people skills are very very important if you want to not just to get a good job but if you want to climb the ladder of success, interpersonal skills are very very important. Number four is persuasive skills or convincing skills. The way how you can convince a person, how you can bring the other person round to your opinion, what you think of. Make the other person believe that whatever you are trying to say, whatever you are trying to project is actually correct through proper evidence and arguments, right? We come to the fifth point which is fifth skill that is important or that is highlighted during the GD by the recruiter that is your analytical skills how well you analyze a situation how well you make your point based on that environment how well you analyze the situation it is not just about a mere regurgitation of facts and figures but also how well you analyze the other person's point of view and bring up your argument based on that right so this is the fifth point that we have done next we come to the sixth skill sixth skill is the group skill or team working skill. How well you coordinate with the team members, how much you allow a particular person to speak, 
how less you speak right so how you're managing the group how you function in a team are you a team player if you're not a team player then chances are slim that you will be able to back the job somebody else who's a better team player because there is no room for solo performance over here because you're working in a team next is conflict handling as you know in a gd at times arguments may get heated up in that point of time how can you manage that conflict how can you bring in peace in the group discussion that is really very important how can you stop two warring candidates who are arguing over their respective opinion and try to settle it down so that the group discussion can take place properly for the other candidates of the group a is openness and flexibility to new ideas this is really very important because if you are working once you've joined a job you should be open to accepting new ideas from your teammates whether the person is your junior your ego should not come in between that if a person who's giving a is is giving a good idea the workplace you may not be on a very friendly term with the person but the idea is good you need to let go of your personal bias and accept the idea right next we come to ability to create a consensus again this is related to how well you handle an argument how well you tackle an argument how you can bring peace and consensus in the group that is group management skills people skills right next is knowledge about the subject and individual point of view how well are you versed in the subject right if you are given the topic beforehand make sure that you do sufficient research on the topic in order to build up your own thesis about the presentation of the topic so these are the 10 major skills that recruiters look out for in a candidate so make sure that before you appear for the gd before the recruitment the people who have come for recruitment make sure you work you practice give yourself time enough practice practice and practice and hone these skills of yours hope you found this session interesting and useful as well so if you find this session interesting keep watching sb's academy space and there'll be more content on gd coming up in the coming weeks thank you so much thank you for watching the video subscribe to sb's academy channel on youtube for more such content follow sb's academy's page on facebook for sb's tips on grammar vocabulary and communication skills in english don't forget to like and share the content leave your views in the comments and let us know what else would you like us to cover here happy learning